Ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about the difference between Blue Cross Standard, the more expensive Blue Cross Blue Shield plan, versus Blue Cross Basic, one of the cheaper ones. Now there is a Blue Cross Focus, that's a different one, not as popular, we're not going to focus on that today, we're just going to talk about the most, the two most popular plans within Blue Cross, which again is Blue Cross Standard, the more expensive plan, and Blue Cross Basic, and here is a quick summary, we're going to dive into the details, but here's the quick summary of the, some of the key differences. Number one, how much it costs you. One costs a lot more than the other. We're gonna talk about what that gets you and if it is worth it. So the cost is huge, that's the difference. Next, the providers you're able to go to, big difference there, as well as they work with Medicare in completely different ways. So if you're approaching Medicare age, you want to watch this video to see how they each work because one works great with Medicare, one does not work with Medicare at all, okay? So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start sharing my screen on my computer to walk you through the Blue Cross website itself to walk you through some of the biggest differences so you can see how this works out for you. Okay, so now I'm sharing my screen. If you're on the podcast, definitely check out the YouTube channel so you can see the visuals here. And I'm going to link what I'm sharing. I'm going to put the link to it below. Basically, it's a pamphlet, it's a booklet of the summary of all the Blue Cross Blue Shield plans, the differences and the things to consider when picking between the three different plans, okay? And as you know, as federal employees, there's other plans available in FEHB outside of Blue Cross, but many, many people love Blue Cross, so that is why I'm making this video to talk through some of the differences between the plans, okay? So let's scroll down. Here's the deal. Um, as we talked about, there are three different Blue Cross plans. There's F FEP Blue Focus, okay, that's the cheapest plan. There's the basic options, which is in the middle, and then Standard, which is the most expensive plan. And of course, as you all know, um, it's either you have a, a self-only plan, self plus one, or a family plan. Okay, here's the deal. Here are some of the main differences. I love how this one pager here, it should be page, I think, four, three or four, it talks through the main differences between the plans. First and foremost, no deductible. The Blue Cross Basic is the only one without a deductible. The um, Focus and then the Standard do have a deduct deductible. Um, but here's the deal. Between Basic and Standard, which those are the big things I'm talking about today, the biggest difference in care, in the difference in the plans themselves, is that with the Standard plan, as many of you know, you can go to out-of-network doctors. You can basically go to any doctor you want with standard, okay, and Blue Cross will cover it. Basically, okay, there's some exceptions, but basically you can get out-of-network care way easier and Blue Cross is going to cover it way better if you have the standard plan. But with that comes the cost, comes the cost. And as we see here, here is the different cost options, okay? So let's say you're self plus one, self plus one, and let's say you pay... Um, every two weeks, okay? Self plus one, if you're on the basic option, is $240-ish. The standard option is $350, so significantly more. If we looked at it on a monthly basis, that's more than $200 extra per month, which comes out to more than $2,000 per year extra. It's a big difference, right, when it comes to cost, okay? So we've talked about two of the big differences so far. First, Blue Cross Basic does not cover out-of-network care the same. Standard covers it very, very well, as good as any plan will, as they cover out-of-network care. Blue Cross Basic does it. Now, of course, the Blue Cross network tends to be very large and comprehensive, but it's up to you to make sure your providers are in the network before you do go to Basic. I, this is not me trying to convince you to go to Basic from Standard. This is me just showing the options because I know many people have had a plan for decades without thinking about all the options, okay? This is just to look at the options, see what the main differences are. Now, if you have specialty medical needs, whether it's a very expensive um prescription drugs or anything, make sure before you change plans, make sure the plan you're going to covers things the way that you need them to, okay? So again, the big difference is number one, out of network care that standard covers better, okay? Number two, the price standard is a significantly more, right? Depending on the plan, it could be between $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 extra per year of cost of premiums to be on the standard plan. And let's look at this last line item right here, Medicare Part B reimbursement. Okay, as you see, Blue Cross Basic has a Medicare Part B reimbursement. Blue Cross Standard does not, which means basically what that is, 
is when you get on Medicare Part B, Medicare Part B is not free. But Blue Cross loves it when you're on Medicare A and B because that means Medicare becomes your primary insurance. And so it helps to incentivize people say, hey, we want you on Medicare. They Most plans will often give you a reimbursement for some of the cost of Medicare. And in this case, you see Blue Cross Basic will pay you $800 per year per person to be on Medicare Part B. So if you're on it, you'll get $800 per year. And if your spouse is also on it, Medicare A and B, they'll get another $800, okay? Which means that the total cost of basic, if you're on Medicare A and B, just went down by $800 to $1,600 because they gave you that reimbursement to help pay for Medicare. If you're on Blue Cross Standard, they do not give you any reimbursement, okay? Long story short, this is how I'd like to describe it, is Blue Cross Standard is designed to be a standalone plan. Okay, that's what it's designed to, to do. It's not designed to merge with Medicare very well. As you see, it doesn't even reimburse you to be on Medicare. It's not designed to do that. Okay, so if, again, the out-of-network care doesn't really affect you very much, then maybe look at Blue Cross Basic. And of course, look at all of these things. If you scroll down, you'll see all the different types of visits and the copays and different things. You can compare plans super easily. I would check out this um, PDF. I'm, again, I'm gonna link it below. This is directly from Blue Cross Blue Shield, directly from um, their information. Um, so I would, I would look around. I would look around, see what makes sense, see what plan makes the most sense for you and where you can save the most, most money. Because just like, let's say, life insurance, health insurance is the sort of thing where you want to pay for what you need, but you don't want to overpay for something you simply don't use. Okay? You want to pay for what you need, but not overpay. So I hope this is helpful. Again, check this out if you want to look at more information. And again, before you make a change, make sure any specialty needs you have are covered and then you're not getting yourself into a mess. But if, as long as you don't have anything crazy going on, you can always change plans every single year. Even if you retire from the federal government, as long as you retire with a, a normal annuity, normal retirement, and you've had FEHP for the five years before you retire, you can change plans in retirement every single open season as well. So there's options. If you make a change, you can always switch back later, okay? If, you, if it goes terribly, you can always switch back later. So I hope that's helpful. Good luck with everything. If you have any questions, there's a link in the, in the um, description below to submit those questions to us, and we base our future content based on the questions you guys submit. Have a great day. We'll see you guys next time.